Hi everyone, it's Megan Makeup Tone here. So today I'm doing a DIY and it's a gel eyeliner. It's super easy to make and um, I'm going to be uploading three or four more DIYs in maybe the next week, week and a half. Um, I'm just like in love with these so I wanted to show you guys and they're going to be super fun and they'll make really great like holiday gifts and this one will make a great holiday gift as well. If you maybe you want to give to a family member or a friend and you're on a budget, I would definitely recommend this. So thanks for watching. Bye. So the things you're going to need, and sorry about the weird angle, it's just, you know, easier for me to film on top of my dresser. Um, petroleum, jolium, or Vaseline, it's the same thing. I got this from the Dollar Tree a plastic spoon or fork. I only have a plastic fork, so that will work. And a container. I got these from the Dollar Tree, and I just put rubbing alcohol on it, and then I rinsed off with water. So you always want to sterilize something if you're definitely putting makeup products into it before you put it on your face. I'm just, you know, it's more of a caution. So, um, a container. And you're going to want to take a black eyeshadow and old Walmart palette so I'm going to be taking this black and it's very pigmented you want to take a very like black pigmented color and then if you want to add sparkles I depotted some of my sparkles and I put them in this container so started we're going to open up this Vaseline it looks like that and we're just going to scoop out some there's going to be no measurements whatsoever Sorry about the weird angle, it's just really weird. Um, take about... Um, that much, and I'm going to scoop it off into the container. Then I'm going to take the black, and I'm going to put it in here. I'm just scraping it to here and this is like a black with kind of like a green undertone um and if you're going to give this out as a present i think it'd be super cute if you added some stickers holiday stickers or even named um even named your eye oh i got it all over even named your gel eyeliner and you're just going to steer this now until it's creamy. I'm going to add some more black. Um, I just want it very pigmented. So I'm just going to take the rest of this black and put it in here. I'm just going to keep on stirring this, mixing all both of them together. Okay, so after you get done um, mixing, I just went and got a towel. I would definitely recommend putting a towel down before you do this. I didn't, like, realize it's going to be really messy because when I did it before, it just wasn't messy. Um, and to make it a full coverage uh, gel eyeliner or long-lasting, I'm going to use most bare minerals prime time foundation primer even though it says foundation primer i'm just going to use it um i'm going to put a little drop in it and this is just a sample so if you have any primer to make it a full coverage gel or long lasting gel whatever you want to call it i would definitely put some in so i'm use a big squirt of it and i'm going to steer this in with it now I'm going to put a swatch. I'm just going to take my eyeliner brush and I'm going to swatch it for you guys and then I will show you how it works on my eyes. So it's a full coverage gel eyeliner and now I will show you guys how it works on my eyes. I'm sorry I'm looking over this way. This is where my mirror is. Oh, 
it's very creamy and it's just good as you see it glides on very simple and if you want to add a little bit of sparkle this is just a sparkle from wet and wild if you guys want to add a little bit of sparkle to your gel eyeliner, I would definitely recommend that. And if you guys want to see how I make a color gel eyeliner, gel eyeliner just let me know. And thanks for watching this DIY. Bye.